Hello everyone, and welcome to my visual guide to the power of knowledge, also known as Trey's Lost Chapter. Be on the lookout for soaring cats, but these ferocious monsters have no real hankering for catnip, as they are perfectly capable of one-shotting any party member without needless distractions. My name is Riley, and I'll be your guide. So let's go ahead and dive right in. We start the fight off pretty timid actually, and almost reminiscent of Trey's event. It's when you start dwindling them down, you'll notice the big difference. The ore condition for this fight is dealing brave damage by debuffs, such as poison and sap. However, they are immune to sap, so debuffs like Trey's Trap, for example, and El Nacho's Frame debuff are some examples to work around the sap immunity. Now, in the JP version, this fight was a headache. Honestly, since timing is everything, you can be having a perfectly good run, and then BAM! Your tank just died from a double HP dump. These kittens are here with a vengeance, but first, let's go ahead and break down their auras. Red means they will be instantly breaking anything they target. Even when they miss, they will still break your characters. Something exclusive to this Lufenia is at 29% the bosses will be in the red aura permanently, so it's best to burst them down as best as you can or else you might just get overwhelmed. Yellow means they will enter a sort of immunity. While this aura is active, you will only deal once for braid damage and they will have reduced HP damage taken. To rid yourself of this BS, you'll need to break them. Even when the aura goes away on its own, without you breaking them, you will still deal once, so immediately break them as soon as you see this aura appear. I recommend bringing someone like a Bronth, Eight, and even Galoof. Even though the yellow aura will be active longer with someone like Eight and Galoof, the attack can miss, so you can, with the counterattack, break them that way. Blue aura means the best possible outcome for your run, as it lowers the boss's attack and speed, so go ham when you see this aura active. DPS units like Squall here really shine as long as you can back him up with good ores and a good tank like Sarah and Celeste, added with someone like Gladio. Then again, using a character like Gladio here is almost in itself a guaranteed win, and if you want to know why, use him and let me know how it went. Keep all these tips and strategies in mind and you'll clip these kitties wings in no time. And there you have it, the power of knowledge completed. Congrats on your Lufenia armor tokens and be sure to join me next time as we take on the next Lufenia fight together.